Looking to refashion another turtleneck? Hi, I'm Angela Wolf. Today I'm going to show you how to take this turtleneck and turn it into this cute top. The supplies for this project are very basic. Scissors, tailor's chalk, elastic. I have half inch elastic, you could also use all the way up to one inch elastic. And a sewing machine or a serger. This turtleneck is a little bit dark, but hopefully you can see the design on here. That's the reason that I bought this top. I just loved it. But this drove me crazy. So I'm thinking if I could turn this into a wider boat neck, even off the shoulder, either would look great and I could follow the lines of this design. So I have here's Taylor's chalk and I'm just giving myself a guide so you can see where I'm going to cut this. So I've drawn approximately half an inch above this entire designed area. That gives me a seam allowance where I can tuck that elastic inside. On the back side of the top, You'll want to follow the same lines, but it doesn't have to be as low if you don't want. I'm going to just kind of give myself visually. That looks pretty good. You really won't know if your fabric is going to fray until after you start cutting. So what I like to do is start cutting a little bit higher away from where I plan on cutting and just feel the fabric. This looks like it's not going to fray. If it does, it's not going to be very much. If your fabric is going to fray a lot, you want to give yourself a little bit of extra room in the seam allowance because you'll need to finish that or be very careful before you insert the elastic. Let's put it that way. Otherwise, the whole shirt's going to be frayed and you might have a lower top than you had planned. Right now, I'm just cutting off this extra big neckline, getting rid of it or save it for another upcycle project. It's already looking better. Now the rest of the cutting I don't have to do on the dress form. You could also do it flat on a table. But I'm just gonna go ahead and cut so you can see exactly where my seam allowance is. And then we will go ahead and measure. Start on this side. I'm just cutting along that chalk mark. Just be careful not to stretch your fabric too much because this is a knit. Get that label out of there. You don't want to open the shoulder seams. If for some reason these come open, just stitch them closed before we go on. The next step is to measure the elastic. The elastic is going to be inserted right along this edge and then tucked under. It'll have a great finish to it. Even if your turtleneck doesn't have all of this design, it'll still look great. The big thing is to make sure the elastic isn't too loose. If so, once you attach this, you're gonna have a gaping front and back. <laughs> that won't be so attractive. So instead, what you might wanna do is just pin, starting at the center front, pin the elastic along the edge there and then stretch the elastic just a little bit so it's tighter than the fabric. See a little gap right here? Again, I'm gonna stretch on this side. Now let's get to the back. And again, I'm just gonna pin a little bit further. To hold the back up, I wanna have the elastic a little bit more of a gap. And then go ahead and cut the elastic so it overlaps just enough I'm going to go to the sewing machine and do a zigzag stitch to attach the elastic and then I'll either use the sewing machine to attach the fabric to the elastic or you can use a serger. There are many ways that I could attach the elastic to this top but this is just really simple. Once I have this attached I will just fold this under and I can either tack it at the shoulder edges or use a cover hem, a decorative stitch to hold it in place, or once it's folded under, it will just stay there. So let's head to the sewing machine. To secure the elastic, I'm just going to choose a zigzag stitch. This is where I overlap the elastic. I know this is how tight that I want it to the top. I'm just going to remove a couple pins just to get in there. zigzag stitch back and forth just a couple of times. I'm 
that's plenty to keep that sturdy, but I'm gonna go ahead and do just one more row just to make it extra secure in the back. We don't need this extra elastic, so I'm just gonna trim that off. For those of you that don't have a serger, you're just gonna run a zigzag stitch along the edge of the elastic attaching the fabric. And the idea is to stretch the elastic just a little bit so it meets the fabric, it's even. I'm gonna use the serger to trim off the edges and secure the elastic to the fabric. Be very careful not to cut the elastic. looks great on the outside and on the inside. The last step is to tack the shoulder. So take the elastic, fold it in, and from the right side of the garment, just tack right along the shoulder seam. That will prevent the elastic from popping out. You could run this to the cover stitch machine if you want, but once this top is on, the elastic is gonna stretch and hold against your body, so there's really no need. Turn the elastic to the inside, and it should stay, but if you have any problems with it flipping open, just go back and do a couple little tack stitches, just like we did at the shoulder, and you should be good to go. And that's how simple it is to upcycle a turtleneck into a stylish top. Again, I'm Angela Wolf. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have new videos every week. Until next time, see you on the social side. Bye. <laughs>